Welcome to Ashan Hobby. As you all know, our channel is all about planes and drones. Till now, we made lot of models like this, like this, like this, like this. And this time we made this. This is big boy, my biggest build ever. In this video, I am going to take you through the entire journey of crafting big boy from start to finish. So let's go to the video. Recently, my friend Harsha made a big model called Flybee and he tested it. It was really fun. So that was the inspiration to make a big model. Small models are easy to build when we compare to the bigger model. As it is my first big design, I decided to go with a very basic structure. Also we had to choose the material wisely because we need more strength and it should be lightweight and same time we need proper balance. So we cannot rely on our regular material like foam. So let's find out what we can use for this project. After checking many material, I decided to go with 2mm aeroplane which is perfectly suitable for our use. These are some of the common wing position. In our case, I am going with a high wing model. Because the design will be simpler and same time it can provide enough balance. This is one of the popular high wing model called Piper Cup. I am taking inspiration from this model. Basically, I am just recreating a simplified version of this plane. I am planning three different blocks, one is nose and a mid part and a tail part. Eventually I am going to combine all this and make a solid fuse. In this I removed all excess parts so that we will get a lightweight frame. So now our design is completely ready. Let's go and take the laser cut. So now we are at the laser cut place. So printing is going on. So as a first step I just decided to build the fuselage. So main wing we have to plan so that we will do after this. And we are almost done with our laser cut. As I told you, we have three different parts. Uh, here I am starting with the nose part. And this is the glue I am using for sticking. And it's available in all local hardware shops. You can check my video description below. You will get the name. So throughout the design, I kept a puzzle like this so that it can directly fit with the other pieces. So let's do the assembly. Anyway, our uh, main fuselage and uh, nose part is done. So next we are going to do the tail part. So for that, we have a lot of pieces here. So this is comes in the side 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 panel and bottom panel. So like that, lot of pieces there. So we are going to assemble the tail part now. So let's do that. So we installed this uh, nose and the main fuselage part but uh, this um, tail part I feel like um, it's very weak so we have to do something here so maybe we have to give some extra support but uh, the thing is right now I don't have extra uh, plywood so we have to go and get the plywood 
then we will start strengthening this part okay so first we will go and get the plywood and other things we printed some extra parts for more strengthening so Yes guys, we are done with the tail part, it's come out pretty well. So what I am going to do next is, uh, we are adding this nose here. So for adding the nose, I am using nut and bolt. So uh, in this design, I kept the nose as a separate piece, right? because in most of the cases, when we crash the plane, the major impact will happen here. So even if it's crash, uh, we can simply replace this nose part as an individual piece. So that's our overall part now. Now what we are going to do next is uh, we have to get the electronics components on place then we will do that. For this plane we made a customized landing gear. I approached a nearby uh, building shop and they helped me to build this. It's uh, made up of 4mm metal rod and it's come out well. It's pretty strong. So let's see how this can uh, go in our way. And this is the motor we used here and it comes with a DIYS brand and D3548 and 1100 kV is the specification and it can easily produce 2000 grams of thrust on 70 amp VSC and 5S battery. I have a 80 amp VSC. I think we can use that and overall this is okay for our project. Uh, let's use this and see further things. And also I am using standard servos. I am not spending too much money on uh, this servo because it's an experimental project. So let's stick to this and see. Next I started with the wing design because that is the most important and complex part here. I am using aeroply and depron and some aluminum tubes for the spar because it's a 2 meter wingspan and it's really huge and we need proper strength. So first time I am trying something like this huge. So after designing uh, as usual we started with the laser cut. Here I am cutting the plywood and the depron. So later we have to install everything together. So that's our next step. So we are starting the wing assembly. So first I am starting with one side. So for that we need to stick everything together. So for this wing model, I am only keeping ailerons, we don't have any flaps, so I am thinking of mixing flap around. So these are the rip parts, so it will come in one line and this is where we are going to install the servo. So I am basically combining depron and plywood together for better strength. So let's complete the wing assembly and see the further things. As a spar, I am using an aluminum tube which is lightweight and I think even it can give more strength.
and we are done with all the servo fittings and uh, control rods and next we have to do the tail wing assembly As a next step I started covering the plane so here I am using a transparent film and also I am using my ironing tool for sticking this So this is the overall look and feel of the plane right now So next I added a support rod for the wing because the over aluminum tube is not that strong enough to carry this long wing So we are kind of set with everything I faced the issue when I checked the CG balance so I need to add some extra weight so I am using some dummy font so which has some weight just trying with uh, multiple batteries so that we get enough weight And finally, after so much of hard work, I am done with all the settings and controls. So next step is our testing. So for that, I loaded everything inside my car. It's quite big. So anyway, we will see what happened tomorrow. So finally, we are at the ground. Today, we are going to test our plane. So all my friends and other pilots are here for supporting me. So before we begin, first step is installing the wing. I am using two rubber bands to hold the wing and also connecting the supporting rods. So now everything is set. So ready to take off. Like everyone, I was excited and same time I was nervous. the takeoff was very smooth it went up just like that it full throttle on suddenly i noticed one thing our wing support is broken so without wing support Flying this plane is very risky because any time the wing can collapse. So I did an emergency landing and I couldn't land properly and there were some issues. After that crash the motor was loose and also we faced some issues with motor magnet and it's become stuck so I need to repair that. Also I added some rubber padding so which will reduce the vibration and our nose also a little small so I increased the nose I made another nose for better CG so that we can avoid the extra weights. Also I made some extra support for the landing gear, I added two springs so that it can land smoothly on the wheels. Again we are back to the field for the second test. So this time I am sure this is going to be a super flying session. So we solved all, most of the problems, so let's see what happens.
Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more videos.